Hello guys, this is iDropshotJFK here. I'm bringing you a video on how to show or how to edit the terrain uh, texture pack on your Minecraft uh, game. Uh, for me, if you're like me, well, it's gone boring. Boring. The texture pack has gotten very, very boring, and you want to make something new, or you don't know how to download something else, or you don't want to download, or you don't like them. You just have an idea for your own, and you want to make it, but you think that it's too complicated. Well, don't look any farther because it's a lot simpler than it seems to be, and I'm going to show you here. So you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need uh, WinRAR in order to open up a couple of the files that you need. Uh, sounds con sounds intimidating. Don't worry, it's not. Then you also need Photoshop. Uh, can't use Paint because that will white out the areas that need to be transparent. I'll show you that later. So let's jump right into it. Uh, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to open up the Start menu. Then you're need to gonna go then you're well, <laughs> you're going to need to go to search programs and files, type in run, just wait, don't hit enter, because in Windows 7 that just exits you out of it, I'm not sure if that's me or just supposed to happen, so click on run, then I've already got it typed in, but you're supposed to type in percent, app data, percent, uh, no upcases, just as it is there, okay, then it'll take you to this, with all your downloads and such, uh, Minecraft should be on the top, dot Minecraft, if it isn't, uh, try reinstalling the game. I'm not sure exactly why. I've never had that problem. I don't think anybody else should if you have the game. So just double click on this and go down to or go up to bin. Then go right click on minecraft.jar. And you should, I'm not sure if you guys do. I already had 7zip pre installed when I got my laptop. So I already have it. But I don't like to use that because it's uh, a lot clunkier and to use. And it's a lot easier to use it with WinRAR Archiver. So open that. And then, uh, if you, well, basically, I got the free version of this. I'm not sure if there is a paid version. Basically, it says that you have to buy it, but I've had this for two years, and <laughs> it's never made me buy it, so just click close, and hit T. Just keep going down until you get to this terrain.png. I mean, I know that this long list of stuff can be very very intimidating and it was for me but it just like block it all out and just basically you want to focus on objects with this that you want to edit so you want to hit that then you want to minimize just all this just to make it clear then what you want to do is you want to actually double click on it should uh, open up in Windows Photo Viewer and uh, or whatever the file is for Mac if you're doing it on that and it should appear as white on here but once you open it up in Photoshop it should appear as transparent which it won't in paint see like for example the uh... let's see train tracks that'll have white around it because everything's a block alright so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit file make a copy then save it to your desktop which I already have right there I just like uh, titled it terrain original in case there's any backup need that you need to do then you want to do open in Adobe Photoshop elements or whatever version you have and if you don't have it uh, you should be able to just go onto their website and not worry about having to pay for it I think you can get I think you can get like a 30 day free trial uh, I shouldn't worry about it and then I would do that twice um, I'll explain to that once I do that I can find the here. All right, open again in Photoshop Elements and only edit one. No, oh, it won't. Alrighty. Well, that's all right. We can keep going. Um, very simple. Just hit the magnifying glass tool. Go down, 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 down until you can see each individual pixel for the things. Um, the things that are gray, I would leave them because gray represents. Uh, what the terrain is, if you've noticed, grass looks different for the biome that it's in. Same thing for this very first thing. You might not be sure what it is, but it is the uh, top layer of grass. So just leave the uh, just leave that. You can edit anything else except the gray stuff, and also uh, leave that blue space. I have no idea what it is, but I've tried and just corrupts the whole file. So leave that. Uh, leave these purple, or you can leave them, but, I don't know, they're just spaces available for anything else that you need. Um, 
yeah, leave the fire text stuff. And then leave the water. Alright. That's the animations. And if you're not sure what this is, this is the cracks that you get from when you hit stuff, you know. And what else? Oh yeah, the tree leaves. If you want it to if you want there to be one universal color of leaves, then go ahead and change it. Uh same thing for the grass, but if you prefer in the biomes then keep it like that. Uh, okay, let's show you how to do the actual changing. So, it's very simple. You just want to get, uh, the pencil tool. Size, uh, try and keep it at one, two, or three pixels. Because once you get about a bit more, it gets to that clunky, weird color. So, just to show you, I can go like this, just on the side. Then, file. Save. Don't hit save as, because that'll mess it up. Uh, it should automatically bring you to this folder. And then it'll say file name, terrain, just keep it the same. Save, uh, hit OK. Then hit none for the interlace option. OK. Wait for it. And then you have to go back to the WinRAR archiver. And then it's going to ask you if you want to update it in the archive. Hit yes. Uh, let it do its work. And then open up Minecraft. Because I, after I do a bit of work, I like to make sure that it's working so open up minecraft I'm not connected to the internet right now so it's just gonna show that I'm gonna play offline go here I'll open this up for you guys single player uh... let's do this yup and as you can see I did it right there's white blotches everywhere it looks quite uh... silly quite funny but yes this allows you to do the whole this basically knows that it's doing its job and you can do anything you want and this is how people do the uh, they only show the ores such as diamond and gold is what they do here let me exit out of this they go to this and then they make everything transparent like you can do that just by getting the eraser and just erasing everything rather than changing it to white because that'll actually make it white in the game if you erase it and you see these uh... this background thing then it will be erased in the game and you won't be able to see it you'll see through the next block and then they'll just keep everything but the ores um... that's pretty much it guys if you have a question please leave it in the comments below i'll be happy to help i've uh... done this entirely by myself so got a whole texture pack waiting I'll probably release that maybe sometime and yeah guys uh, if you if this video helped you please comment subscribe and rate because it all helps out in the aftermath so yeah I'll see you guys later and